Okay, I want to show you how to make images to fill the uh, squares in the Flippity board game. And I'm going to use Google Drawings and I might use my Bitmoji. Here we go. So the first thing is when you come here and copy the template, I've already opened it, you get this. And it has all these extra instructions. I would come through, remove all this extra stuff. I don't want it. Let's get rid of it. And I don't want their images in here. Remember the, the wheel and the uh, peppermint candy? I'm just going to take red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, that pattern, copy it, and paste it. Paste it, paste it through a few times. So I just have the colors. Oop, I didn't get rid of all of the instructions, did I? And let's see, as I get to the bottom, red, yellow, okay, that's good. I'm gonna get rid of some of these instructions. All of them, I don't want them. All right, and then I'm gonna come here and rename this generic board. And what I'll do is once I get the board the way I want it, and it's a nice generic board, I'll save it to my Google Drive. And then every time I want to make a new game, I just pull up the generic board. It's already set the way I want it. And I just paste in a new list of words. Okay. So there. Uh, I will show you what I've done. I've already done some of that. Let me show you this one. So here in this generic board, I've already gone in and put in some pictures in here. This is what the board looks like right now. I've put in these images that say take a shortcut. Oh, I changed the, the um, name to game time and I put in my bitmoji. I stuck in one over here and I put in a few images. You can personalize it. You can do it uh, with your own images. So how do we do that? I come here to my Google Drive and I hit new, hit new, there we go. And when you go down to more, it has drawings. Now you can go through one of the other things, Google Docs first, but go directly into drawings. So here we go. And this looks like a square, looks like it's about the right size of that, the square that's on the board game. But what I've noticed that it's a little bit big. So I'm going to insert a text box that's about the same size, but a little bit narrower, okay? And I might fill it. Let's say, let's fill it with a pretty color. And I want to include an image. Now you can grab an image from wherever you can and pop it in there. I'm going to just use the Bitmoji image. And now I know that these images have a uh, link, what do they call it? URL addresses, image addresses. So you would think it would work to just put it right in. For some reason, it doesn't work. So I just take this image and I'm going to pop the image in here move it in where I want it, maybe resize it, there, something like that. And I'm gonna put in a text box. Over here, and I want it to say, let's make it, let's make it Comic Sans, and we're gonna make it large, so Comic Sans, Around 100 seems to work. And we'll say take and I want to capitalize extra term. Uh, not crazy with the way that looks. I think I want it to be a little narrower. How's that? Yeah, maybe wider. But you fiddle around with this, get it the way you like it. Uh, maybe I'll. Put it there. there, that looks pretty decent. So let's say this is going to be my image. Okay. Those things, I just come up here, 
to file, publish to the web. Do I really want to publish it? Yeah, I, I want to publish it. Okay. And then it comes up with this address. Press Control C to copy. So I hit Control C. Out of here, I'm going to go back to my generic board. And let's say I want that. Where's a good place? Let's say I'm going to put it here on, on uh, square number eight. I just control V, stick it in there. Now, because I've already published this, it will update automatically. I don't have to republish. So it updates. I come over here to my board. Now let's watch, I think I put it in on eight. So as I refresh this, there we have it. I now have an image put into that square. These images, I just wrote, you know, did a text box and put a background and put some extra rectangles on it. I might change these out with mine, but you can easily put the image in here. You can put another image here onto your card deck. You can put an image in here, put an image here or here. So let's say I want to put the image here. Let's see, let's find that in our, so this is where it says finish. I want to change that image. So I'm going to make another, uh, I duplicate this, make a copy. Not going to name it right now. That size seemed to work, so I'm going to uh, keep that size. Actually, yeah, maybe I don't need the fill. Take it back. I'm going to start over and get rid of this. Get rid of it. I'm going to make just an image in here because it was on the white background, right? So let me just keep that white background. Here we go. This one. I'm just going to drag that in there. Resize it. There. And file, publish to the web, publish. Do you really want to? Yeah, I do. I'm going to copy this, control C to copy it. Come back into my spreadsheet, and that's going to go right down here on the finish line. Get rid of that, put in this. Okay, it will refresh. When I come back to the board, let's see what happens here as I hit refresh. There it is. So now I have this icon here. All right, that's how you can customize your images for your Flippity game board.